Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to clean up your MSCT portfolio menus. This little tutorial is going to focus in on menus. So the first thing I'm going to do, I am in Chrome because uh, Google site works best with Chrome. I'm going to navigate to sites.google.com and notice over here on the left hand side, the new Google sites hyperlink. If you don't have this, the first thing I would do is check to see if you're in Chrome or if you need to update your Chrome web browser. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one time. And here are the sites that I have so far. And of course, I only have the one and that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to bring it up. And here it is in the editing mode. Now, just as a quick refresher, if I click on the drop down here, I can go to view published site, and this is what it looks like as a published site. Now, the thing to know here is that here is the placeholder content for your midterm, and you do want to fill this information in. However, new for 2017 fall, this chunk where it says course target audience and essential questions is going to come out for the midterm only. It will remain in place for the final. So I am here in Chrome and I've got a window open that is my uh, actual site. And I've also still got my editor open. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of those three chunks of information. And again, you're going to leave that information in there for your web quest. For your web quest, um, this information becomes important uh, because you'll be developing a full course. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need to take the word midterm only. Um, I do know that some of you had the word notes in there, but erase that phrase notes take the word midterm only and let's do a hyperlink on that and i'm going to actually scroll down a little bit so that you can see i've actually got the brains midterm page already created so i'm going to click on that and click on apply and i like to publish i feel like it's um kind of forcing it to save and um that always makes me happier so i'm going to go ahead and click on view published site and I'm going to click on midterm and here is my midterm. Now on the actual midterm page, there's a couple of things I need to do. First of all, since we are using Google, um, you don't necessarily need to have the word notes here because your notes are usually embedded and you don't need to repeat the word midterm. I know I gave that to you on the template, but um, go ahead and erase that. So you're going to erase this line and this uh, content here in terms of this was a sample placeholder you can erase that as well so the only thing you're going to be left with is this title linking the brain mind teaching and learning so let's go ahead and go edit that um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my menu bar because I actually have uh, two different chunks up here but this is the one I'm working with and here's what I'm going to do I'm going to erase all of this information. Again, we're doing that for the new uh, 2017 course simply because we don't need it uh, there. You don't need those hyperlinks any longer. And um, because this is your midterm, it's not a fully developed course that you've done. So let's talk about this layout. Let me go ahead and publish this. And um, let me go ahead and take a look at um, the way it looks right now. Now, this is, is on track, that's for sure, but it kind of looks a little wonky with the fact that my um, notes are up here and my Prezi is down here. Um, it just looks like it's out of balance. And actually, this isn't my Prezi. I believe this is Google Slides. In either case, it looks a little wonky. If you linked to a Prezi, you can just create the link right in here. Um, and leave your notes section here. However, what I wanna do is because I've got both of these in Google, I wanna just show you a, a quick way of playing around with the layout to make it look a little bit better. And you do have a portfolio due um, in this particular course. And part of it is the aesthetics or the look of the website, your MSCT website. So I would ask that you do something to enhance your brain's midterm page. I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to come back to my editor here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, imagine that I've got a Prezi 
and I'm going to um, do a little bullet point here and I'm going to do link to midterm Prezi. Now I'm not going to um, go through the process of finding my midterm Prezi link and all that other good. Suffice to say it though, this is like any other link we've done. If you highlight it and you come up to your hyperlink, you can paste the hyperlink here, whatever that hyperlink is. Um, and that's presume I'm making the assumption that you're doing it through Prezi, but of course you could have done it through um, a couple of other venues. If you did it through Google Slides and you embedded it like I did over here, then I'm going to suggest you have a couple of other options as well. Because the embed portion of it takes up a whole chunk in and of itself, I'm going to move this down for a moment. And that's going to leave me with this um, chunk up here. Now, one of the things we haven't done a whole lot of is get into the aesthetics or the design features of um, Google Slides. We'll do that a little bit here. But basically what I want to do, just again as an aesthetics, is I'm going to um, skew that out. I'm going to make this line up visually with uh, the one next to it. It's a little bit too much so that they like uh, look nice and even and balanced. And even that's not quite balanced. So let me try one more time. Okay, close enough. So um, there are my two chunks and this is one way to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish, but now the page has a title across the top and it's nice and balanced here. So again, I would ask that you do something to um, create some sort of harmonious balance on this page. Now, if you happen to have done a Prezi, all you need to do is, this is my Google slide piece, I'm just gonna drop it down. But basically you would just insert a text box here, shrink it up, and then what you could do is just drop it down next to the slide. And then um, link to Prezi. And then uh, again, I would bullet it, I would highlight it, I would link it, and then I would finally delete this chunk down there. Um, so um, go ahead and make sure all of that looks good, and then we're going to go uh, further in this to our menus. Okay, the next thing to do to clean up our Brains MSCT portfolio um, is to go ahead and take a look at um, our hyperlinks across the top. As we build pages in our Google MSCT site, um, they will automatically land in your top menu bar across the, uh, the top portion here. However, I do want um, you to think about what is a priority. In this particular case, the Brains midterm and the WebQuest and anything else that you build out is not a pri priority, excuse me. So therefore, this Brains midterm should not be landing in this um, toolbar across the top. This toolbar across the top is for your home page, for your about me page, for your favorite links page, etc. cetera. Um, but your brain midterm is basically a project uh, as a part of a course in your uh, MSCT program. It's linked down here. So I would uh, recommend or suggest that you need to take it out of this menu up here. So how do you do that? The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to where it says pages. And note that I've got a whole bunch of pages here, right? Um, there's all sorts of things I could do in terms of this menu, but the one thing I want to get done is I want to hide this. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on hide from navigation and it goes away and I can publish that. So at a bare minimum for our MSCT portfolio, up here it needs to be the home about me and favorite links and you should not have any other uh, project based pieces up here. However, if you wanted to have nesting uh, links, I will talk about that in a moment. Um, for the moment though, go ahead and clean up your MSCT uh, portfolio and I'll see you shortly.